Are you okay, old man? I can touch him. Boop. Oh, God. What? Bill, get back here. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at this guy. Hello, oh, and welcome to Share, an indie horror game that's on Steam. And it's, it's like five bucks. We're getting into it. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So far, good reviews for this game, so I thought to try it out and see how scary spooky it is. It's a long loading bar, though. So, how to pass the time? I don't know. I'm probably going to need more game recommendations, so if any of you... Oh, God, itchy nose. If any of you have any game recommendations for me that are horror-oriented, please let me know in the comments below. I really need more horror recommendations. I have some suggestions by indie game developers who are providing games and telling me to try it out, but I'm having them on the back burner for a bit. But holy shit, why is it so peaceful and friendly? It's cheerful music, and I'm driving a car! Okay, I, I shouldn't drive it like that. I seem to slow down when I do this, so let's just enjoy this music, I guess, and try drive properly. Yeah. Not bad. As long as they don't hit a deer or anything. I seem to be driving faster and faster, so I'm getting a feeling that it's deliberate. So I was driving slow at first, now I'm like zooming on by. Wait, what? No. It's a fucking cat. And my guy swerved to crash into a fucking tree, really? That's like the last thing... The last thing you should do is swerve. <sighs> to avoid running over a cat so you don't feel bad, or, or at least so you don't have to hose down your tires from the blood and guts that stick to it. Okay, great. Can I... Can I open up... Oh, oh! Well, apparently I can take the battery, but I... I'm not going to do that unless I know I can charge it, I guess. So, okay, we're, we're in share. It's a very happy-go-lucky... Oh. Ah! It's a cottage. I guess I can ask for help over there or something. Fucking howitzer cannon, though, first. Aw, oh, come on! Shoot! Damn. It's out of commission. I wish I could shoot it. Maybe there's a ghost down there at some point. I get to shoot at it. And kill it. Alright, well, if I'm going to crash my car at the cottage, it, it's either... It's either I'm visiting this cottage and this was my destination, maybe? Or is this a stranger's house and I can... I can ask for help? Either that or storm in it and start throwing shit around and, you know, breaking and... And breaking and rendering. And the door apparently just opened on its own. I, I don't like that. I mean, it's... Just... And the first thing I walk into is a fucking picture with a skull on it? Really? Any, any, any ghosts? Any humans? Humans? Is this a fucking dog collar? I put on the dog collar, that's cool. Oh, never mind, it's... It's like a fucking thing you wrap on your head with the fucking flashlight, I, I, I guess. Mm, Hands-free flashlight. Hey, doggy! What's up, dog? No, Little thing is scared. And he's hungry. There's no food. It almost looks like the dog's, like, amputated. It doesn't have legs. Like, it's, it looks like its front legs are stumps. Either it's just because they're, like, really tucked in, like, just, like, model-wise, the dog's legs are just tucked in, or the dog's amputated. That's a shame. If so, what's in this garage? Can I open it? Can I get in? Can I? Can I? Okay. You had to touch the handle. <laughs> that animation, you're just like. <laughs> Anyways, okay, we need, I guess, to find a key or we just can't enter it. No, okay. I'm gonna run. Fuck this. After just playing, having played the game, the Midnight Library, and having to be forced only to walk the entire time with no running feature. I'm I'm quite glad. Ooh, I can pick it up. <gasps> Ooh. I don't know what the significance of this picture is. <gasps> I can throw it. Shit. Mm. Fuck this person's house. Yeah. But yeah, I'm, I I couldn't run in the other game I played, and I was like, please, I'm I, I'm so. I want to run again. 
Got some sugar, some coffee, and tea. <gasps> I can pick up the mustard! Awesome. I'm gonna make some kind of hamburger or a sandwich? Eh. Okay. Fridge. A banana! Oh my god. Alright. Banana. Why is there a banana in the fridge? Who the fuck puts bananas in the fridges? Wait. The banana is rolling. It's fucking rolling. Bananas don't fucking roll. They they don't roll. They're, they they can't stop. Put it in the sink. Okay, sure. So if, we're fucking around this guy's house because why the fuck not? And their back door is locked from the outside. Of course. You need keys around here. Can I open drawers? Yeah. Man, there's a key in here. Oh, go. No, no, no. I want the key. Give me the key. Give me the key. Give me the key. Give me the fucking key. We got the key. Everything's good. And... Why the fuck is there a door that leads to a room when there's a door right next to you that leads to the same fucking room? I mean, like, unless this used to be, maybe, say, it used to be sealed off, and during construction they separated and made it a shared room, but I find this architectural uh, layout redundant. It's, uh, it's, it's pointless. It's just, what the fuck? Hopefully this key is for the fucking garage. Maybe that's where I can charge the fucking battery. Maybe we can uh, drive on our way out of here. But the game description on Steam... Ooh, an axe! Gimme. I'm gonna hack this shit up. I said hack it. Left click is making me drop it. Why? So right click is to throw it? I threw it to the left. Apparently. What? The fuck? Shut the fuck up, cat! Shut up. Shut. I fucking hate cats that meow constantly. I so fucking hate that. And there's another fucking cobra. Let's just drop it too. 600 watts. And a baby kitten! You're not noisy, you're a good cat. Weird. But yeah. I hate meowing cats. They just like, meow, meow. He's like, if you've ever owned a cat and the cat is in heat, it's the most annoying fucking thing in the world. I remember playing Imagine Counter Strike, and there being like a guy, every time he put on, opened his microphone to talk, you'd only hear in the background, meow, meow. It's like, the cat just was in heat and just noisy as fuck. Okay, get the fuck out of here. Get. Ah! Get the fuck over here, you little shit. Stop meowing, but you can't meow when you're running, huh? Yeah, that's right. I'm gonna chase you so much until you think I'm a threat and you get scared for me. Ah! Like those people on YouTube who keep chasing their fucking cats. What, what you got? What you fucking got, bitch? Huh? Eh? Where the fuck are you leading me? Where is it leading me? Wait, where'd it go? I lost the cat. Maybe it led me here. Hmm. Is there like a fucking branch in there or something? Uh, why is there a ladder piece missing? Maybe... I'm assuming I need a ladder to finish that and climb up it? I, I, I don't know. I actually think I already fucking see the ladder. That didn't take long at all. Can I take the ladder and shove it in my pockets? Nope, but I'm holding it with one hand. All right, let's let's run with this ladder in hand and I guess fix the windmill so I can get wind power. I guess. I mean, if you're a house up and up here, you'd rely on solar panel and wind power. I guess. Hmm. All right. Well, let's climb this fucking up. Whoa. Jesus. Connect! My character does not want to climb this. Or... He, he does, but he's having trouble. Oh my god, what the f fuck is... Jesus! The fuck is... Jesus! I, I better... There better not be fall damage in this game. Ugh. The f this ladder is slippery as fuck if I'm just a little bit curved. My guy swerves right off the fucking ladder. What the fuck is with this? Ugh. Yeah! Oh, oh, oh. 
Jesus. At least be like Half-Life where you can, you know, you, you touch the ladder, you're on the ladder. And this, it's like an ice rink. What the fuck? All right, well, here's the branch. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, my God. If I fall to death, I'm going to be so pissed. All right, rip that branch off. Do it. Or, or, or not. Or not. The fuck? Seriously? Ser seriously? Seriously? Alright, fuck this then, I guess. That was a wasted effort. Alright, I've been looking at it like a fucking walkthrough just to find out what the fuck I'm doing, because this game has absolutely no instructions on what the fuck I'm meant to do. Like, the game just threw me... It crashed the car, and then it's just like... Do what you want, because a pirate is free. Apparently, I need to pick up this axe. And guess what I'm using this axe for? To... I'm using this axe to take the branch off the windmill. That Yeah, I, I, I can't just pull it out. I need an axe to break the branch in the windmill. How that makes sense, I, I don't I don't know either. I mean, if it was chopping a tree down, or say, if there's a tall tree next to it, and a branch coming out of the tree was protruding through the windmill, then yes, I would hack it off. But it's a saw I would use, not a fucking axe. With a stuck little branch that isn't even heavy. It's like, well, it's not even a pound. It's like, what, 30 grams? I, I don't fucking know. But that little stick, I need this axe. I need an axe to remove this little branch. Yeah, so I'm not liking the uh, the objectives that are, uh, you know, lackluster in this game so far. I mean, it's a full release. This game's not early access. This game is out on Steam for five bucks. Really? And then I just toss the fucking axe. What the fuck? Why did I need an axe for that? It was, you know, done. Whatever, okay, we, we got power, I guess. We got power in the house. I'm gonna jump. Whee! Whee! See, much faster climbing down. And is it just me, or is the place getting fucking darker? Where's the fucking sun? Where are you, Mr. Sun? It's getting much darker. I'm getting a fuck back in the house. What the fuck is going on? Okay, shit is finally getting real. It only took, like, fucking an hour of me trying to figure out what the fuck to do, and we're finally figuring out uh, that uh, we need power, and then the sun magically goes away after you fix the wind turbine, because I pissed off the wind gods. Okay. Is the dog still safe? That's all I'm wondering right now. The fuck? It's like Mr. Mr. Clean with spandex on, or... Well, at least he didn't hurt the dog. What the fuck are you doing? I don't have a weapon, so... I'm going in the garage. And I'm going to get the crowbar in case he comes at me. No. You do not notice me. I'm going in the garage. Okay, buddy? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. Oh, God. No. What are you doing? What? what you, why did you just collapse? Did you die of old age? Can you give me that hammer? Oh, I can't take the hammer. What the fuck is with this old man? He chased me with a hammer. And then he collapsed. He just died. He had a heart attack. Just, did, did Death Note Kira write his name in the Death Note? He's like, I don't have much longer to live. I'm coming after you. <sighs> then he died. Are you okay, old man? I can touch him. Boop. Oh, God. What? No, get back here. What are you doing? <laughs> Look at this guy. He's scurrying into the forest. No, get back here, old man. I'm not done chasing you yet. Oh, my. Oh, my God. Get back here. Get back here. Are you going to lead me somewhere? What the fuck is with this old man? He came back from the dead. And now he's scurrying. Oh, did, did you find some berries to eat, old man? You you look, you look skittish. Are you okay? Are, are you okay? 
God, you're old and wrinkly. If I didn't know better, he was Deadpool with the amount of wrinkles on his skin or dick-like penis veins on his arm. Like, look, that, that that's dick veins right there. Look at that shit. That, that's ugly and disgusting. Those are giant dick veins on he's got on his arm. Are you, are you okay, old man? Now he's moving his head like he's a bird. Okay, well, yeah, well, goodbye, old man. Thank you for welcoming me to the neighborhood. Now I'm lost in the forest, and I don't like being lost in dark forests. I'm gonna have to find the road again and get back to the house. Or, nope, here's the Hoetzer Cannon. We are not lost. Congratulations to me. Alright. Oh, yeah, and there's the battery. The battery, battery, battery. Yeah. Battery. We can bring the battery in the garage and charge it. As assuming as... Uh, with the turbine moving, I'm assuming it's what generates the power for the house, so... Yeah. Yeah. Or open? What? Why is it not opening? It's not letting me enter the garage. What? Is that like fucking Shrek? What is even going on in this game? I, I, uh, why, why am I having trouble with my movement? My mouse is different. I can't walk through doors. I'm stuck like this. What the? F All right, shit's getting dark again. Hopefully this time I'll have grabbed the battery. Maybe I need to. Hmm. Maybe it got screwed up because I grabbed the battery and then went to the old man. I can't remember which order I did it. But I grabbed the axe in case I need it again, and I'm going back to the crazy old fucking man. All right, see, let's see what happens if the old man gets to me and I don't do anything. He, he just collapses, really? I'm just going to leave him be. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. He dropped me a hammer. My vision isn't fucked. You going to scurry off on your own, little old man? All right. There's a light switch in here. There is, and there's no power. All right, now I can see the fucking batteries in hand. Touching the old man seemed to fuck me over, so I'm not gonna touch him. Unless I need to, I, I don't know. There we go, that's what I was expecting to happen. But I don't have any power. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. Ah, there we go. Now I have power. Awesome, now I can turn on the lights and shit. All right. To charge, though, I need 600 watts. Uh, what's this say? Watch the lights. Or light. 600 watts minus 100 times 11 under 1,000. Our total of 1,100? 11, what? I think what it's trying to say is the windmill only generates 600, but there's 11 light bulbs in the house and garage? And and every light bulb takes 100 watts. So wait, old man. Sorry, I heard footsteps. And and wherever the fuck this came from, it says I hate the light. I'm going to deduce that what they're trying to tell me is I need to have all the lights off if I'm wanting to charge the fucking battery. Even though it, it it already is green, so I, I don't fucking know. But this is going to have to be the end of the episode, because I'm, I'm taking way too long with this part one. So I hope you've enjoyed. Share a silly indie horror game that has creepy, crawly old men. Come on, old man. Fuck my game up. <sighs> you didn't fuck with my... <laughs> Look at him go. That's fucking so stupid. Oh my god. How could any developer make that and think it's scary? I mean, is this meant to be comedy? Because it is comedy. Um, man, at least my, my game isn't fucked up this time. But yes, I hope you enjoyed Share, an indie horror game. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, begin a play subscriber. Until the next time. Oh, Jesus. Sometimes the scariest thing to look at is yourself. <laughs> Look at his face! Oh, no wonder this guy's scared of his own fucking face. Nah, uh, nope.